In this video, we're going to create a, a routine that allows us to write a string directly to the LCD, opposed to doing it character by character like we did in the last video. As you can see, we had to create a send a character routine for each character that we wanted to display on the LCD. But wouldn't it be nice to do this all in one line? Uh, maybe creating a routine called send a string and string would refer to a string of characters. But before we get started, let's go ahead and review the program that we have. You can see that we use the IOH, which is the standard library for the AVR microcontrollers. We're using the delay.h to introduce a delay into the sending information to the LCD because the LCD is, is slower than our micro microcontroller. We need to invoke a few delays. We are establishing a different names for our port B, our data direction for port B, our port D, and data direction for port D. And this is done so we can uh, be able to change it at any time. So if we wanted to instead put the LCD on a different port, all we'd have to do is change it here and not throughout the entire program, wherever it would be located. Since these, this port B may be, may be used many times in the program. We also put names to the individual pins on port D. One called light switch, another called read write, and another called bipolar mood, which is the RS, the register select. And we've created a few um, routines, and these are the prototypes for the for each routine. The first routine we have is checking if Mr. Mr. LCD is busy. We have a peekaboo which um, allows the LCD to see what we have. We are trying to communicate to it. Where we have a command to send a command to the LCD, and we have a command to send a character to the LCD. We we are creating the routine, the actual code for the routines after the the main routine, and this has all of the information that is necessary to make these routines work. And then we in the main we we actually invoke a few commands, which is clearing the screen, setting the 8-bit mode, and then turning the display on with the cursor and then we send the characters to the LCD one by one. So let's go ahead and start with the creation of the prototype for the new routine called send a string. So let's go ahead and make the the prototype and since we're not returning anything we're just gonna have void there send a string. We could say string of characters but then it starts to get kind of long so I'm just gonna maintain just uh, the word string and we're going to use unsigned care, but we're going to use an asterisk here, and this uh, refers to a pointer, and the variable is going to be called string of characters. Close it, and let's go ahead and make the placeholder for the actual subroutine. Okay, so now you're probably wondering what this thing is, the asterisk. I introduced a new symbol to you, and that's the asterisk. And we also used uh, a variable by the name of string of characters. This is a pointer to a single character, but it's pointing to a single character of a string of characters. We're going to pretend you are a pointer. Okay, and you as a pointer can see what is inside of the memory addresses. When we say that a string of characters is equal to, let's just say some quotes here, newbiehack.com as we had on the LCD before. These string of characters actually gets placed into memory locations. And inside the computer, there's a bunch of houses with addresses. And this is a street. Okay. And each house can fit an entire character. So when we established the the quotes with the newbiehack.com, these characters were placed in memory locations or in houses on a street. N in this one, E in this one, W, B, I, E, H, A, C, K. The dot is actually a character. C, O, M. Okay, and you as the pointer can go to an address. Let's say um, I tell you to go to the first address. Let's call this... 1,242. That's the address for this particular house. And this house that's right next to it would be 
just one plus this one because it's right next to this house is right next to this house. So this would be 1243. This would be 1244. This would be 1245. This would be 1246. 1247. 1248. 1249. 1250. 1251. 1252. 1253. 1254. And 1255. So we have the addresses for each of our houses. And this just happens to be the place where the computer decided to store, or the microcontroller decided to store this, this string of characters. It could have been in another memory location, but it decided to put it here. This pointer, which is you, you actually know this information. You know where, this, where these, these characters are being, are being housed. And there's, there's a couple interesting properties of these houses. First, these houses are all glass. That means they're transparent. You can see right through them. So you, the pointer, are walking along and you're starting here. And you start at this first house because that's just where the, um, the first character is. And you just happen to know that. So you just pop onto that location. And you're looking into this house and you see an N. And as a pointer, you can see the value or you can see the contents of this house. And if I add one to you, that means that you have to, you're going to be walking to the next house. So you, you walk to the next house and you look at the next, you look at the, the contents of the next house. So as I add one or increment you, you will be walking along and you'll be looking into these houses, just like a voyeur would be looking into these houses. Because pointers are really interested in what is happening inside these houses. And your sole function is to be able to tell, tell me or tell the microcontroller or the, the, the variable that we're going to pass this information to the contents of these houses. So this is the string of characters. And we've assigned to the memory locations where the string of characters is going to start. This is the starting point here. So if I said the pointer to the string of characters plus one would equal the E because the zero position or the, the, the initial position would be N. So if I add one to it, it would be an E. If I add a two to it, then it would be a W. So if I keep adding um, positions to this pointer to a string of characters, if I keep adding numbers to this, it'll point to these various locations in sequence. So what we're going to do with the send a string of characters or send a string to the LCD, we're going to put a string into a memory location like newbiehack.com and we're going to use this type of function and adding to it to get these actual characters. And then we're going to use what we had before, send a character for each of these. Let's see how we do this with programming. So now you know a little bit more about how pointers interact with memory locations and how they see the values within those memory locations. We can go ahead and add some code into our routine for sending a string. We're first going to need a loop of some kind. A loop in this case is going to traverse through the number of characters in the string. Let's actually let's start with uh, with actually putting the string and passing the string into this first. So we're going to actually invoke this command where we want to use it. And we're going to be putting it in just before the while one, which is our um, our infinite loop. We're not going to use that yet. And we're going to uh, send a string of characters. I'm going to replace this with the actual characters. And we've we had newbiehack.com, so we'll just use the same thing. So in I'm going to use a semicolon. So instead of having all of this, we can actually take all this out now because we don't need them anymore. We're not going to be sending character by character anymore. We're going to be sending the entire string. And this particular routine will actually do all of that, sending a character at a time. So this is all we want to do. And this automatically gets stored into the memory and will start to be pointed to by the, the pointer of string of characters. But we want to traverse, because the char is only one character, and it's pointing to one character at a time. So what we need to do is start the pointing from the first character onwards. And the way we do that is pointer string of characters. 
and we're going to use the plus plus for the increment, which means that actually this we could say this is equal to itself, and we're adding one to it every single time. And this is sort of the long way of saying that. So we're incrementing uh, the pointer to string of characters, but we need to do this in a loop, so it'll go through the entire set of characters. And we're going to use a while loop, and within this while loop needs to be some kind of condition, so it can stop at some point. If it if we didn't have a condition in there, and let's say if it was equal to zero, it would only it would actually probably only we wouldn't even execute it because the the condition is false, so it would never actually run this routine. But if it's equal to one, it would continually run this routine forever. But we need to make it so it will equal this condition will equal zero at one point. And what we'll do is we'll make it so when the string of characters is equal to zero, it will stop. So let's go ahead and do that. If the pointer to the string of characters, in other words, if it's seeing a zero, actually, if it's seeing anything else but a zero, we'll just go ahead greater than zero. If it's seeing anything but a zero, it will execute this command. When it gets to a zero, though, it'll actually stop. So the very first time that this loop executes, it will return an N for NubiHack, the, the very first character in the string NubiHack.com. And that is returning an N because the plus plus is on the right hand side of this. And what it does is it actually um, looks at the first one and then it adds it, adds a, and then it increments one. And the next time around, it'll equal to the to the e. If we had the plus plus on the back side of the, if we had the plus plus on the back side of this of this um, pointer, then it would actually equal the e first, and because it's it's incrementing first and then returning the the character, we would like that plus plus on the end. But right now this this is really not doing anything for us because we would like to display something on the screen of the LCD. So we're going to use a routine that we've already created called send a character. And then we're just going to be sending in the character. You can see it's unsigned character, character, because this pointer knows what's inside of these houses. So it's just going to return the character that's inside of these houses at the address that it's pointing to. I forgot to put an S here. And actually, I don't need the unsigned here. I don't know why I put it there. I think it was because it was in the other ones. but. You want it to be a just a standard um, car data type. And we should be done. We can go ahead and make all and program and see if it works. Remember to unplug the LCD before you program. Otherwise, the, uh, the, the act of programming it may not be successful. I just finished programming it and plugged back in the LCD. Let's apply power and see if it works. And sure enough, it does work. Thanks for watching.